Hey, what's going on guys? It's MacJack and I'm back with another video editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering how to create this chroma color changing rainbow effect here on Final Cut Pro. So let's go up here and start a uh, new project. I'm just going to call mine a uh, rainbow color change. And I have this graphic I made a while back um, of like, I guess you, I guess it's just me, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using him. And yeah, so this is a pretty uh, well-known effect among YouTube video editors, but it's also very simple to do here in Final Cut Pro. And all we have to do is come over here to the effects panel and type in hue and the first hue and saturation effect we're going to drag on to our video and then you'll be presented with um, these controls and if you adjust the color wheel your um, your subject will change hue and color um, as long as it's actually showing color the black parts will not change um, because if you change the hue of a black color, it'll just still black. So, um, but yeah, so here's the beginning color. And if we wanted to adjust the hue of my entire character, we would just come up here to the keyframe button up here, select that, move forward a little bit in the timeline and Let's just give it a full circle. So 360 degrees to zero degrees. And if you look, if we come through here, my character is changing colors. So say you wanted to change the, uh, let me undo that. Say you wanted to change the uh, color just of a shirt. Now that can be done. All you have to do is duplicate the um, video that you want to um, put the effect on and that can be done either by selecting the video and hitting command C and command V then you delete this and you want to make sure you bring it on top like that so you can do that or a cool little trick is to hold down option or alt and just drag up and boom You've got your uh, duplicated video. So instead of going to hue and saturation, we're gonna go over to the masks uh, panel and the effects and drag the draw masks um, effect onto our top clip. Now it should say click to add a control point and control points are just little points on your mask. And make sure that they go around your subject with a good amount of precision because um, you don't want this effect to uh, flood onto unwanted areas so just take your time and create a little mask around your character or your video whatever you'd like to do and you can always come up to this percent here and choose a larger percent and this rectangle right here you can use to drag around and make sure. So mine's not perfect, but that's all right. You can adjust it however we need to. And then you can come up here and select fit again. So now that we have our mask, we can go back to the hue and saturation. Just make sure you are on all for video effects and drag that bad boy right on top on your top clip. Then we're just gonna do the same thing we did. We're gonna keyframe the hue. So just select this keyframe right here. Make sure it's on hue. Move forward in our timeline to how much we want or to how far we want the effect to go. And we're gonna just make it do a full circle like so and there you go 
the color of my shirt is changing. Now, what if you wanted this effect to be faster? Well, that's quite simple. Just make sure you have the keyframe selected once again, and this time, make sure you have the playhead moving ahead, but not as far as we had it last time. And then just adjust the uh, the uh, degrees here. So if it was 360, put zero. If it's zero, put 360. Like so. And then once we have that, we continue on, move the playhead a little bit more, and then change it to zero. And keep going for your whole clip. So just keep moving it. Put it to 360 or zero degrees until you've covered your whole clip. Like so, and there you go. Now the effect is going even quicker. You can have it um, go as quick as you'd like. Just make sure you're moving the playhead just a little bit each time. And to zoom in, you can come over to this uh, panel right here, and this slider adjusts the zoom, or just the zoom of your um, clip, so you can see into it further. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can apply this effect to videos, to text, it's up to you. And I thought you guys would enjoy this one. And if you did like this video, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button below, like the video if you did enjoy, and please make sure to comment down below other effects you'd like to see. I'm open to suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.